Hi everybody, Monica Bodierski here, artist and author of the Shadowland Tarot and the House of Shadows Lenormand. If you are new to this channel, thank you for joining me. And if you're coming back, thank you too. <laughs> thank you for watching, thank you for liking and commenting. Okay, let's get started with today's video. We are coming up to a time of year that is about planning and visioning. Well, this sort of lines up with Imbolc, which is a Celtic Wiccan holiday. I'm not Wiccan, but I do like the Wheel of the Year teachings. It is a Celtic holiday, and the word comes from oi milk, which is use milk, when the ewes started to give milk early on. Kind of early for our climate. It's still a little bit snowy here, so I'm not sure things are flowing quite yet. But this is a great time to plan for the upcoming year and plant those seeds of intent or what you would like to happen. Now it also aligns with candle mass, uh, which is a Christian holiday and with Groundhog Day. So it seems like um, a few different uh, factions of people seem to have recognized this particular time as thinking ahead and planning or visioning. So, what I'd like you to do is get your tarot deck, get your Lenormand deck, get a couple of decks. Hey, get a cup of coffee. Come back when you're ready, okay? I'm going to use, of course, the Shadowland Tarot and the House of Shadows Lenormand. If you have those decks, play along. So, the first card on your left is going to be the thing that you need to think about. How's that for simple? The card on the right is going to be the thing that you need to do <laughs> unequivocally, okay? What you need to think about and what you need to do. That seems pretty straightforward, right? Okay, so remember when you're doing this sort of thing, get comfortable, okay? Get comfortable, relax, move your shoulders a little bit, put your feet on the ground, get grounded. Take a few deep breaths, okay? It's going to be okay. <laughs> tell yourself that. Because when you tell your mind that, and you do that breathing, you know what? Your body starts to react to that and relax, okay? Or it's always better to be relaxed when you're doing this, you know? Because somebody's bound to flip over one of those cards, like, ah! and you don't want that. So at least if you're relaxed, it'll it'll feel less, uh, less frightening. Okay. <laughs> little jocularity. So the card on the left that I have that I have not turned over, I'm going to now, is the Seven of Wands. Wands is about fire, the element of fire, and as you can see this is a witch with her witch cat familiar. They have wands and they appear to be defending themselves against some unknown assailants. Now what I'd like you to think about for this card is this is internal. You are looking into your own shadows. You are looking into you, okay? These are not external factors. You want to focus on you, okay? So when I read this card, I see that it is about defense and it is about, um, you know, standing your ground, albeit she's in the air. <laughs> it's about sticking to what you believe in. So how would that pertain to internal? Well, internalized things that I've told myself I can't do. I need to defend my vision. I need to think about where I'm not sticking up for my own plans and ideas. Do I let myself down by saying I'm going to do these things and then I'll just give up? Because you're only letting yourself down. Okay, uh, think about it a little bit. How can we not do that? Okay, because that's that's not healthy. Um, and the card on the right, which I believe I said was what you should do, unequivocally, do, <laughs> is the Four of Wands. Another Wands, another fire element. But this one looks a little less fiery. It's these two adorable uh, fluffy spiders and they are just hanging out together. Often the Four of Wands is about a solid home um, partnership. It's a fairy, fairy tale. 
happy celebratory, sometimes weddings, okay? So what does that mean I should do? Well, I guess focus on home. Uh, that's what I should do. <laughs> Stay at home. Eh, in a pandemic, that is a bit of a no-brainer for me right now. Stay home. Okay, so how is this pertaining to my vision? Well, this is where I put in a second layer of cards. And I'd like to say for that second layer, okay, can you give me a little clarity on, on that? What I should be thinking uh, about? Well, I guess what I should be focusing on because I'm using my Lenormand deck is the child card. Okay, so if you have kids, you can think about your kid and I'm not sure how that works with defense. Defend maybe how you look after your kid. Maybe. For me, I'm going to say defend my inner child. That's what I should be thinking of. I'm going to go back and think about what it was I wanted to do when I was a kid. That maybe I go, ooh, I'm too old. I grew out of that. Too late. I'm going to go back and look at that. You know, I'm going to give it some serious thought. Not going to be an astronaut at this age. I am joking. So not into zero gravity. No, thank you. First to pass out in that one. Can't even do the roller coaster. Anyway, uh, now the second card, the Four of Wands, that's about home. Well, what about home? And gosh darn, my cards, they do tell me what to do. <laughs> you see these handy dandy fish in business suits? They're about business. Oh my gosh, no, I did not stack the deck. They're telling me, home business. Yeah, I gotcha. Guess what I'm doing? Home business. Opportunities, okay, for business within that happy home. And that is true. That is so true. So can I do that with uh, a different deck? Or with two tarot cards? Well, sure, let me flip over a couple. No, this is not rehearsed whatsoever. Maybe I should at some point in my life. All right, fumble, fumble. The first card I got was the uh, Six of Swords. And that went with the Seven of Wands. And that Six of Swords is about uh, changing your mind crossing a river of sorts, maybe changing your perception, making that trip. Sometimes it's about actual physical trips and journeys. But since we're thinking, and the point of this card was thinking, I'm going to say, think about changing my mind about maybe having to defend myself. I don't have to defend anything. Good Lord, I thought I was an adult. What the heck am I defending? If I want to do it, I'll do it. Good thing to think, I think. Give yourself freedom. And the Four of Wands, I picked the Nine of Pentacles, which is this bird. Normally the Nine of Pentacles, if you're reading with um, the average Rider Waite Smith deck as opposed to mine, will show a lady enjoying luxury with a hooded falcon on her shoulder or on her arm in a garden. Well, this is a bird in the garden in a cage because I have the shadow aspect of this of sometimes we feel trapped by our ideas of money. Oh, wow. Well, if I want to put all three cards together, I would say, okay, home, sure. See, I, I forgot to add the child to the first one. Uh, the business card and maybe don't feel trapped by having to make money, which supports... Remember, I had the child card and looking back in the first pile. That kind of supports my vision of just doing what makes me happy. <laughs> so have fun with that. You can peel off several cards if you want. Just don't do the whole deck because you know what's going to happen. That sentence is going to get so long. It's going to turn completely into tarot muddle soup and you're not going to know what it says. Okay, so try to keep it simple pinpoint and focus. These are the seeds of your intent of what perhaps to think and then what to do as your vision. Okay. If it's not the exact thing you want to do, it is suggesting the behaviors that will get you there. Okay. Thank you so very much for your attention. Have a wonderful week. Happy in bulk to those who 
are going to be having a ritual that evening, remember to like, comment, subscribe, check it out on IGTV because I also have readings there for you during the week and I will see you soon. Stay safe, stay well, and most of all, stay happy. Okay, bye.